Observe. A lit candle. One liquid creates a fireball from the flame. The other liquid extinguishes the flame. Both sprays are liquids. You give opposite results when sprayed on the flame. Observe. A can of soda. I drink the liquid soda pop. <clears throat> Yet the result is a burp in which the expelled gas is carbon dioxide from the drink itself. Liquid goes in, and out comes the belch. Observe a simple sieve full of holes, a bottle of water. I take the bottle of water, place it over a few of the holes, and tip it upside down. After achieving an equilibrium, Somewhat, the water drips very slow, but not quickly as you would expect. That is from surface tension. All three of these observations show a cause and effect in some form of an action and a reaction. Let's transpose this theory to life itself. You may make many actions every day, throughout your days, which every action there will be some sort of reaction. Some reactions are good, some bad and even some have no consequences at all. But the point is, always think before you act, and know the consequences of the things you do. This is a lesson that will guide you through a wonderful and happy life, and remember, your parents always love and support you. And of course, always listen to your heart. I'm currently literally listening to my heart, but for you, more in a metaphorical sense. Let your heart be your guide through your life and you will be successful and always make good choices. Young St. Alban, enjoy your life. I don't know at what age this video will find you, but I assume it will be either invaluable or of no value at all. Enjoy my young friend.